Scott, you must have a number of emotions going through your mind. What's the overriding one right now? Yeah, relief, uh, pride in your in your players wanting to keep going, and uh, you know, not see the not see them lose, not see them concede points, to be top of the league. There's there's lots of emotions. It's football's not a simple game. Everyone thinks it's a simple game. Um, for whatever reason, you win five nil. You know, just a few days ago, with very similar uh, opposition, and opposite and, and, and starting line for us exactly the same. So, you know, for whatever reason, the first half wasn't good enough, and they were told it was. It was just we were at fives and sixes. We were uh, slow in our build up. We were flicking things. We were giving them a chance. Um, didn't create too many chances. We had no runners in behind. It was. It was very much we play the ball in front of in front of the opposition, and they were comfortable. Um, told them it needed to improve, told them that in any game any any team could get a goal out off the run of play and, and we were struggling, we, we haven't got long to get goals back, it's what happened, you know, uh, they got a goal on the counter-attack from our corner, um, they broke quickly, they broke very well to be fair, so um, you know, it was a good end-to-end -end goal, not for us obviously, but and then we saw a reaction, we made changes, changed the formation a little bit and, and really tested them and you know, it, was, it was nice to see the first one in. And then even better to see uh, Dean Ebby uh, get another vital goal for us. You've told us what you said to the players at half time. What was your message to them come the final whistle? Yeah, came in and, and said first and foremost credit to you because you know winners, it's not easy to win const consistently and to do it year in, year out, and to keep going and to keep fighting and you know everyone thinks you, we should win this league and yes we've got the best squad doesn't always happen though you look at other leagues in the world that you know it, it's very difficult um, to keep that going for whatever reason mentality fitness fitness not in doubt but but mentality and, and reading you know what what we need to do week in week out so um, I was really pleased with um, their attitude and the, the willingness not to lose the game so plenty of positives to take out of and of course the three points at the end of the day. Look, tonight we got three points. If we'd have won the game 5-0, we'd have still had three points. It's the manner though that we've shown that we can, uh, um, we can win games like that. You know, Some people say that we've got a soft centre. We've got good players, we've got very good players who, who want to win the game, who want to win the league, who want to consistently do it. So a bit of pride in that as well. Obviously your motion as a manager there, yeah, you're wishing balls to be put in the box and headed in. And it's just so frustrating when you see the opposition take the time and um, there's nothing I can do about it. And then the ref puts five minutes up. It's It's got to be seven or eight for me at least. But look, we've got the three points. Um, disappointing with the first half, not with the second half. And um, we're where we want to be, uh, top of the league, going into the new year. Almost two weeks now until the next game. That's on January the 10th at Newtown. What will the players be doing in that period? Um, they'll be having a few days off, they'll be having a, a bit of a rest this week now. Very nearly got taken away from them because we can only um, give them days off with, with positive results and, and everything else that goes with it. Um, they earned it, they, they deserved it. The run we've been on, you know, if you look, one loss and one draw in about 10 games, is it, maybe? Um, I think they've done very well. It's, it's a stage of the season now where I think a little rest and then uh, 10 days' time we'll play again, hopefully hungry. Um, recharged, revitalised, ready to go at Newtown. Well, the transfer window opens shortly as well in the Welsh system. Any comings and goings imminent for the New Saints? I'd like there to be, yeah. Um, three or four players were making offers to their agents and, and to, the, to them. Um, we are looking to freshen up. We need to freshen it up. We need to keep freshening it up. If we only get one of them, um, I'll be really pleased. If we get two, I'll be delighted. Well, Scott, as always, thank you for your time. And it's a much happier post-match interview than it looked like with the board going up for the added five minutes. As always, thank you for your cooperation during the course of the year. And I'd like to wish you personally a Bluithin Nuithar. Bluithin Nuithar to you, Rev, as well. Thank you very much.